So I'm at home now, wrapping up day three of daily vlogs. The day started off this morning uh, having a brainstorming meeting with a local Santa Clarita Valley charter school that is doing some phenomenal things in the community. I was very impressed with their ideas, their concepts, and uh, just overall the, the principal and uh, you name it, they got it going on with uh, revamping the way children are being taught. They're empowering their kids, they're inspiring their kids, they're creating uh, a space to develop critical thinking, and it's just everything that I've been dreaming about since I've been uh, in this field of transformation and personal development for the last 17 years. So. I was like a little kid in the candy store uh, this morning, walking around, taking a look at this charter school, and uh, it just gave me a whole new perspective of um, what's possible in, in teaching our children how to be leaders and developing leadership abilities, and I'm just grateful and honored to be a part of uh, what they're doing over there. So I look forward to having a few more meetings and even um, figuring out how I can be in contribution to what they got going on with their vision at that school. Uh, maybe in the future I'll tell you exactly what school it is, but um, for now I'm going to keep it uh, a little secret. But it is a Santa Clarita Valley secret that I stumbled upon today and I'm very excited about it. Um, what you're going to see probably in the next segment is some work that I've been doing with what's called the Young Adult Leadership Group that uh, I'm in charge of coaching and developing young leaders over at the Action Family Zone. So I'm going to let you in on uh, one of the discussions that we had and I think that you'll receive benefit from it. It's a discussion that we opened up about limiting beliefs that we have as men towards women and some of the limiting beliefs that women have towards men. And uh, if you can hang in there for the next 10, 15, 20 minutes, I don't know how long the video is, but however long it is, uh, stay uh, tuned in. Don't check out because I think there's some powerful uh, golden nuggets that you can receive from it. All right, thank you and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm trying to get a pick on what you guys want. What are you guys up against? Because you've been doing some work for the last couple months, right? I want to yeah. do a little check-in and find out what do you guys need. Today at lunch, we kind of had an interesting conversation about guys versus girls and the way guys communicate with each other versus the way girls communicate with each other. Mm. And we all had our own opinions about it. And observations were... <laughs> I think it was so interesting, and it was just like a quick little thing that we discussed. Well, I kind of, yeah, I was, I don't know, I brought it up, and then we just started all talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, I live with all girls, so I just know, like, the whole observation, just, um, so I was just making some key points, and then, um, What were some of the observations that you noticed? Well, I, well, the first, how it all got started, I mean, I'm just going to have, is that, the upstairs at the station used to be the man cave. And mm. then Faye infiltrated our system <laughs> of government and started, you know, like stationing her little estrogen area. And then just like women like flocked. And like, now it's and the majority it's, of girls. Now, yeah, we have another girl coming in and now it's just all girls and I'm like the only guy. So Upstairs, right? Yeah, so I don't know what happened. So <laughs> he's upstairs. He's there he's like really two there. days a week. Yeah. Oh, really okay. there. So I'm there every day. So you gotta hold down the fort. So I gotta you gotta represent. I gotta keep the stank going, you know. Good. Good job. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Uh, Not let them take over. Yeah, right? they just like, they came Happening. out of nowhere. And we were just talking about, you know, like with girls, I, you know, just living with girls was ridiculous, but um, they, they like all have like some sort of program in them that is like, you have to like watch it because guys fight with fists and girls fight with words mm. so they like they're saying something to you and it's like there's so much subtext there that like what they're saying doesn't even really matter you're just like like kind of mm -hmm. looking underneath the layer because you don't know what what's going on in their mind and so they'll create like if this girl does something to this girl it's not a verbal attack right out in the open it's like this strategic plan that like all just like Rumbles that girls like life, and guys are just like, "What's up?" Just like get in there and just like duke it out. So that was just something we talked about. We talked about a lot of different things, but I don't know. I'm like, girls and guys are kind of different, but in the end, we're still kind of the same. So. And what were you noticing? Um, noticing that even though these are guys. 
they had different perspectives on the analogies between girls and guys. And the stuff that he was noticing, he didn't notice. Or he noticed <laughs> I, I never said that. Do you remember I how remember. you... <laughs> well, um, what are you talking about specifically? Like, noticed what? I forget what the situation was. Remember when he was like, I don't think it's like that. I didn't really finish it? because there was a lot of laughter and then other talking that kind of over. I remember I was sitting kind of far away, so I could only <laughs> get it like I could only get it like a few words, you know, just like, okay, I'm still here. All right, yeah. All right, all let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Open up your notebooks, and I want you to write down women. I want you to write down all the limiting beliefs that you have created in your life about men. Men are. Mm-hmm. Men don't. We're doing uh, that too. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just joking. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so women, you're going to write down men are, and you're going to just complete it with all the limiting beliefs that you've uh, created about men. And then men, you're going to write down all the beliefs that you've created about women. And let's focus on the limiting beliefs so that we can really look at them and really um, get a good perspective of what we created. And how did we create that? Was that from our upbringing, from our parents? Was it uh, created through the movies that you watched, from reality TV? And so I want, I want to just open up a discussion and really take a look at that. Okay, let's get back on, on task. Fine. Forget it. So, it's let's do a little bit of sharing. Women, let's go one at a time. What did you write down about some of the limiting beliefs that you've created about men? Who wants to go first? Um, I think one of them is that men separate themselves from their emotions on purpose as a defense mechanism, whereas women are more vulnerable. vulnerable. And I think men can't stand a smart woman or a funny woman because if you ever hear a guy say that a, a woman is a funny comedian, I've never heard a guy admit that. <laughs> Wait, say that again? Wait. Like men can't stand a funny woman. They're missing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I feel like that's, that's what I believe. Like they just don't think that women can be funny. Mm. And, um, a lot of like women comedian and never make it yeah and aren't given the credit. They yeah. She is funny actually. You're ruining my moment. I think like Chelsea and LA. And I think that men would rather <laughs> men would rather stick together in their group than let a woman mm-hmm. in. And women are more uh, susceptible to letting a guy break them up than guys are to letting a woman break them up. Say that last part again. Girls are more susceptible to letting a guy break up a group of girls. Oh. Versus guys are letting a woman break up a group of guys. All right, okay, so here's the magic question. Men, are you guys writing this stuff down? We are not. I, well, no. <laughs> I was I was captivated by... Okay, if I were you, I'd write this stuff down because okay. you're not going to get this golden <laughs> gems in life probably ever again. So... When you first asked the question, limiting beliefs about men, it was hard for me to to, um, to go into it because, so I just decided to ask myself, what are my beliefs about men? You start, just as a starting point. Just as a starting point, because when I go limiting beliefs automatically, my coach voice comes out and says, well, why are you putting him in a box? And then I, you know, and then I break down um, the limiting belief into, well, that's not true. And so I, it's almost, it's just difficult for me to comprehend the limiting Okay. However, I have certain beliefs, and all beliefs are limiting because once you have a belief, that's it. You believe this, so it's, it is a box. So it could be limiting. Right. So men are caretakers. Men are providers. Men are stronger physically than women. Men are hardworking. Men are more sexual than women. Men are less concerned about how they dress or how they look. Naomi. Okay, well I had like three kind of ones and then one, okay whatever. 
So she put it in terms, like, so I I just wrote bros before hoes, but I didn't know, like, how to put that in the words. She did not say that. All right, well. Okay, so you're saying that men have that come like from? If, a, if, like a, if there's like a group of guys and a group of girls, and let's say like one girl comes with a group of guys and like tries to break two best friends up, like it just doesn't, ha- you rarely ever see it happen. Like it's the whole like, F that B word, like they- So, they so you're saying back. that guys have a pack? Why is she trying to they have, break them up? They have a guy yeah. pack. Girls, they're, they're also more loyal to you. I, d- I don't understand this, back. like this, this is a thing? Just, yeah. just take the information down. Don't try to process. Don't try to defend. Just take the information. So what's what's the next one? <laughs> um, kind of like what she said. Like they all. I just wrote that they all have an emotional side that's covered by variation, like or variation of egos. Like it could be really big, small, whatever. But like using egos to cover up their soft side. Okay, so men, so you have a belief that men mask their emotions. Yes. Um, Are you writing? My, right, bigot, my biggest one, and this is like, I know it's not true, but it's like so hard for me not to believe it just because of where I've been, is that men are not able to like have a relationship without being physical in the very beginning of it. So, and then the last one is, men are rarely interested in a woman who they see as smarter than them or who has higher schooling. So they get intimidated by smart women. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, awesome. So now let's shift it. So men, let's share your limiting beliefs that you've created about women. All right. <laughs> All right. They're lining up. They're, they're lining up now. All right. It's, it's over. It's okay. Um, the way I think, I think like women are very clean, organized. You guys writing the stuff down? Social, gossipy, and strict. What do you mean by strict? <laughs> Just like very uptight. Okay. Who else? Well, I was I was facing the same situation with Wendy when she said learning beliefs. I I know. That I don't want limiting beliefs. I have an idea. I have a concept of limiting beliefs I didn't it's kind of difficult to actually think of them but I know as a human being that I have them and so uh, I don't know the only big ones I thought of was the first one I think that women are prettier than men <laughs> it's, it sounds really superficial but I think yeah, um, it's, a uh, it, it's a belief and I've seen a lot of naked men and women and I, I realized that because I really had to dig deep to like think of because I don't I really think that we're pretty, I don't know we're human beings you know so that was that was a big one and the other one I guess was um, I think they're more caring than men uh, I don't think that's negative towards women but I think it's a it's a limiting belief mm. to think that some mm. other conscious entity can be more caring to <laughs> anything or anyone that, that, that as a male that I can be. <clears throat> so if you have a limiting belief that only women are are more caring than men, could you use that as a man? Could you use that to justify you not being more caring and more sensitive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you have that limiting belief that, well, you know, especially if you're a father, right, and your son or daughter hurt themselves, like, go to your mom. Like, like your mom's more loving and caring and compassionate than I am. Could that be limiting belief? Yeah, it gets in your way of being a, a, an effective parent, um, you know, by being able to access that way of being. Okay, awesome, thank you. Chaloops. I, I, um, so I have intense social beings who become friends faster than guys do. Like, I don't know, like, two girls like me for the first time, like, they're talking about like everything. And guys go through some process where it's like uh, like checking out sort of situation. Um, so I don't know, I just want to know this. Um, mature faster. Um, at a younger age, they seem to just pot a pot, pot of fuck around, like just like hanging out. Um, they're very secretive. Like they don't, if they, if they don't like something, like especially about another girl, they, they like take it offensively and they don't say it, but they turn around and like talk about it with their friends and stuff. 
uh, gossipy, um, smart, like either openly or secretively. I know there's like, I just noticed that girls who are like, there's girls who are smart, but they like follow the trend of like acting stupid and stuff, even though they're secretly smart. Um, organized and caring. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm at home on day three. We're wrapping up the footage, Bryce and I. And um, he kind of started getting all uh, red and, and uh, flustered, so I asked him what was going on. The video kind of seems a little flat up to now, so I wanted to turn the video camera on and find out what's going on with Bryce. So check it in. <laughs> so what's coming up with you watching this footage? I'm just, I, I'm allowing myself to get frustrated. Um, what's frustrating you? I, I'm just hearing what these girls are talking about, like their perception. Because you, you said something while we were ed editing the video, like looking at it. You were asking us, you were asking me, why were we the guys so flat? And that that was boring. And then the girls, you asked them for their perception to kind of just like to create some sort of breakthrough. And they basically said what we were saying, just from their point of view as like a girl. Um, the thing was is that like there's just all these there's all these beliefs like that girls have created you know that it's not it's not all girls it's it's i'm just being you know general in a general in a group um what's pissing you off just girls of my age that i notice and i'm getting coaching on this from wendy but they're looking for the white knight, the the prince charming to come riding in on the stallion, you know, and, and whisk him away, and yet they keep falling for like the same type of guy, and it's usually like the jerks, the the jerky guy, because he gets he's the next Facebook status for sad face, sad face, just broke up, whatever. And it's not just girls that I'm I'm putting here, because this is it's the same thing for guys. We're just too we go about it different ways. Um, so I was just I was just frustrated. I was I was venting. Um, you were saying to me how you didn't like how they were sharing the, their limiting beliefs about the guys, mm -hmm. and you said it seems like those style of guys is what they end up choosing all the time, <laughs> which is kind of a contradiction, right? Yeah, it's but it's it's. It's because I'm coming at it from a guy's standpoint where I'm, I'm looking into it. Um, the same thing could be said about girls as they look at it, guys. And if you had a girl who's very, like, watching over, you know, a bunch of different guys, she'll see that guys are probably dating the ditzy bimbo girl who comes in and, like, flashing her hair around um, and then drops her, like, two weeks later. It's just like a cat toy, you know. He, he, he gets a new toy, he plays with it for a little bit, and then drops it. Um, and that's, I think it has to do with our age, to be honest. I just don't think the maturity's there where if we, I'm tied into this, where I haven't had enough experience and they haven't had enough experience to kind of know what we're looking for. Um, so we keep making the same mistakes over and over. So are you the jerk or the nice guy? I, I don't classify myself. I just present myself. What do you, what do you, what do you see me as? I see you as a nice guy. Okay. So what I'm trying to get to is, I guess I just want to ask this question. Have you been friend zoned a lot? Yeah. Yeah. How a lot? A lot. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about that for a minute. What is? How do you? How do you get qualified to get friend zoned? How do you think you qualify to get friend zoned? What are some of the attributes that you display that puts you in that box? Um. I think I'm just too relatable. Are you <laughs> a great my, listener? I'm I'm a good I'm a good listener. Friend zone. I, I know. I <laughs> I Are you really nice to girls? I'm really yeah. And polite. And courteous and so friend zone. Yeah. Okay. Um I I I don't know, I just do my thing. I'm really Just being you. Yeah, I'm just being me. I was raised to be that way. Right. Like my my dad was very 
hard about that. That was like, you do not, you know, mistreat a woman. You respect her, and so he would have me open up car doors. You know, open up the door. I would have to race women to whatever door to open it up in time. And if I didn't, my dad would be so pissed off at me. So I think it was just. So do you do you consider that those ways um, to be that of a white knight? I don't like I don't like that term because that's the thing is like you get all these nice guys who think they're nice guys or they're they're kind of just putting themselves in that category because they're awkward lonely guys and they're like oh women just don't appreciate me um, for who I am when they don't go out there and talk they clump themselves into so nice guy and and bad guy whatever you want to call it are just generic names that everyone's given so they can associate to something and the white knight is the same as the nice guy is that these guys think they're the white knights and they're just like just slobs who put themselves in categories as a nice guy I see myself you know I, I look at myself a lot and I, I see you know I have flaws and I and I'm aware of them I have insecurities um, and it's about recognizing those and then working on them and also just being aware of them because then consciously it keeps popping up that's the thing is like you have this comfort zone and you have everything that I know about myself and it keeps it keeps flushing up and I have to keep looking at it stepping back and not just reacting off of it or keep pushing it down I try to like look at it and I fall back into old habits it's it's what happens you know I'm only human but um, I'm, on a, I'm on a process and I don't see myself as a white knight I just see myself as a guy who cares um, who is compassionate who will lend an ear um, who will treat you with respect and is very understanding and, and wants to talk about stuff and work stuff out and that might not seem like the most attractive thing to a girl at my age right now um, you know because she's looking for a guy you know whatever but I, I'm again I'm generalizing the Justin Bieber's the Justin Bieber's <laughs> but some girls don't like Justin Bieber so like my age so there's girls out there who will like that like I just haven't found it so what do you want to say to the women out there about nice guys um, for all the women out there that are watching this video all across the world you got 30 just, seconds to make it I, land what do you want to say <laughs> Just be aware, like, if, you're, if you truly are looking for a nice guy and you're kind of tired of, um, you know, being treated like crap, um, most likely that nice guy that you're looking for is around you and probably in, like, your group of friends. He's the one who you call at night and cry to and uh, can always rely on. Um, you share stuff with. He's there. And whether or not you're physically attracted to him, the whole thing is that you are looking for things, these these certain ideas that you've put onto the perfect guy, and you're disassociating yourself from um, actually falling in love or being with a nice guy who treats you right because maybe he doesn't come in the right wrapping. Incredible insight. <laughs> so you heard it right here. Exclusive bonus footage from Casa de Urbina. We'll see you tomorrow.